What's up, beautiful people? To another episode of To Keep Up With The Joneses Palette and Gardening Edition. Yes, it's your boy Vicky Jones Jr. and I am also excited because in this video, we will be assembling my first aeroponic system, okay? All you need to do so is a five gallon bucket in this case. You need a timer. You need a pump, as you can see there. You will also need a lid for your five gallon buckets. You will need these little neoprenes is what they call it in this world and you will also need your cups okay your cups in which will hold your plants and things like that okay so without further ado oh can't forget you will need a hand and any drill with the little hole driller my bobber thingy thing all right let's get into it y'all what's up beautiful people and welcome to another episode of don't keep up with don't keep don't keep up with the Alright, beautiful people. So, as you can see, we are ready to go. Now, I do want to say all the items that you will see listed, you will be able to see in the description below to be able to purchase from Amazon. However, I did get the bucket and the lid and the sprinkler pump head situation um, from a big box store. So, these are not on Amazon. However, I will put links so that you can see those as well. But, if you want any of these items, again, they are on Amazon. So, avail yourself to the purchase thereof. Let me go ahead and take this tag off. Oh y'all, I'm so excited. This has been probably the best weekend of the year. I'm gonna just say that, being able to do this. So anyway, let's go ahead now. The first thing we will do um, is to put the holes in our lid to go ahead and um, you know get this party started because the rest of the kit is already kind of put together, I will say, or kind of like easy. This is, this, Honestly, it's like the most work we'll actually have to do, but it's not much to do. So obviously overall, it's not much work to do, okay? All you have to do, so for this part, all you have to do is decide where your holes for your cups will be. And what they tell you is, you want to have like some plastic support in between, right? So I'm gonna kind of rock it like this where I can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cups overall in my lid. And then from there, I'll just uh, mark around the cup. So I know where everything is before I cut. Quite honestly, we learn together and we're gonna find out what's the best method to get it all done, okay? That's what it's all about, doing what's right to get the job done. So from there, let me go ahead and cut this lid. All right, so essentially, it should be able just to fall in like so, which it does, nice and snug. It's very snug, actually. Let me make sure that the neoprene will go in as well as in a hole, which it does. Okay, cool. All right, so we're good to go. Did not cut perfectly, but overall, it was strategic. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and drill the second hole. Try to do it back. That was much easier. Wow. I wonder why. I wonder why that one was a whole lot easier than the first one. So what I'm going to look to do is like drill a hole in the middle here so that I can use one of them to just be able to put the uh, holes circle so I know where to put the point and then I'll just drill the hole in there like that, right? So that makes sense in my mind. Let's see if it makes sense in application and uh, things like that. So let me go ahead and get this bottom part cut out. All right, so I cut out the bottom of this here cup and so now I should be able to just place a dot center and I should be good to go there ah that one I'll do the center already boom 
Boom. All I have to do now is put the points there. Boom. Just like that, beautiful people. Go ahead and get these scraps. Like so. Man, so much easier. All right, so then from there, all I have to do is like clean out. Wow. Ferrari, uh, I don't know which one just drove by, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. This is not a car channel. And, but now I'm just going ahead and get the little debris and the scraps out from there, which it really won't matter because the cups will cover all of that up. But just to make sure that the cup has something smooth to go through. Oh, so my cups go in nice and smoothly because the hole is shorter so my cups are two inches i don't know if i said that but my cups are two inches in diameter um and so you know my cutting circle is of course a lot well not a lot smaller it's a quarter smaller than that and so everything fits nice and snug you know which is what you want because you don't want like water and things to come out outside of where these are right so this is why you use a lid that has a little rim around it which i'll back down with a hammer and so you know i should be good to go and as you can see in between the uh cuttings or the circles there's plastic right and so you have it like that so you have something for the cups to sit on i've heard that you can even reduce the amount of space on the uh, top which i mean i guess if you're pushing how you know much you want to clone how much you want to grow in your aeroponic system you can do it in a, a smaller more confined area but i'm not in a i'm not in a rush for space you know i'm not in a rush this is my first system and i plan to learn from there and so we will grow from there all right Speaking of growing, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, man. I appreciate you all. I have a goal of 100,000 subscribers, okay? And I believe you can help me to get there. So, we now have this pump, which is a nice uh, submersive pump, water pump, um, that I, again, got from, purchased from Amazon. And so, what I'm doing now is putting the uh, spongy little feet situation on the bottom so that they will have the suction necessary to remain and stay at the bottom. All right boom all right don't want to do suction to that and then we're going to put our pump piece or uh, it's actually like the rod that the water will spray through the nozzle boom 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 and hit the bottom so outside of the bucket it'll look like this right so water will constantly shoot up hit the roots all around the aeroponic system and you know give the water to the roots to the plants necessary for growth right so that's how this works there are other nozzles that i could have used from this box but i don't need it and then from there you have your timer because I'm going to be doing 15 minutes on, 15 minutes off. So essentially, this will be plugged here. Boom, like so. And then it'll run on the time system. All right, now that I have that, boom, boom, boom. Now I can put it all together. <laughs> and then we're gonna run it just to make sure that everything runs and operates the way we need it to be so I'm going to take my bucket and put some water in it so that we can do what we need to do to make sure we have a thumbs up okay make sure there's no leaks and things like that okay let's do it all right so now we have our water in the bucket and here is the pump all you want to do is make sure that there is enough water to cover the pump which there actually is essentially you just want to cover like the little suction piece which is on this side that sucks in the water and sends it up i'm not going to turn it on because we will all well i will get wet not necessarily we but at the end of the day we then will oh i can actually use the cup that i use as a trace marker because i do need one opening for where the um power cord will come through i'm gonna use one of those holes all right so we have where is it boom this one 
So this one is the one that is the sacrificial lamb that my power cord will run through. So let me just do it like that. Let me get the bottom of it, feed it through there. Ugh. I'm gonna have to cut the bottom out even more. Yep, let me just do that. So let me cut it around here. And then when I put the sponge piece in there, it'll keep from water coming out, which is ultimately the goal. All right, there it is. It's on. I don't have any leaks per se. I do have some water getting out, which is odd, but I guess it happens. But you don't want the water to get out because you want the water to stay in the system. Make sure it's in all the way. All right, great people. So like I said, I figured it out. So what I had to do was go to the Home Depot and get a smaller nozzle. The one was too long, which it looked like this. It was too long and therefore spraying too much pressure into the area. So now we have our pump. I'm just go ahead and put it in. Make sure it's nice and centered. Go ahead and put the um, squishy, squishy situation down. I'm gonna go ahead and feed it through like so. Uh oh, and there goes one. Easy replace, right? So then we have our cup that I need to feed the cord through as well. Boom, slide that on like that, slide us in. So I'll plug it in just to show you that there are no more leaks. Electricity. All right, so we're good now guys. And the water is spraying all the way up. I'll lift, oh, I'll lift it up just to show you. So boom. You see it spraying there. I'll put the lid back on. You can see the bottom are getting wet, which is what you want. As long as your bottom of your cups are getting sprayed with the water, you're good to go, All right? So there we have it. Here we have our timer situation that is set up for 15 minutes on, 15 minutes off. And so it should function to operate that way. Um, picked it up from Amazon again I'll put the link below in the description so you can pick that up I'm gonna let it run just to make sure it does click off and um, we should be good to go okay beautiful people so just like that we have a whole aeroponic system all in a five gallon bucket contained just right there so I do want to point out that when you are filling it up with water you can see from the inside how high that it's going and what I did was I'm trying to turn it what I did was just fill it up to like the bottom area of the uh, label the you know food grade all that good stuff label and so that's all you need you just need enough to make sure that the pump is submerged but you don't want enough that is like rising right you don't want your roots to be sitting in water so that might be a good rule of thumb do it where your roots, your roots are not sitting in water. But nonetheless, that is just that. It is just that simple when you do it this way, okay? I did it the longer way. And uh, everything, I mean, was very inexpensive. The little tube, it's like a, from Home Depot. That was like 98 cent, 48 cents, something like that. And so, you know, you're good to go. And all I'm doing now is just making sure that it hits that 15 minute cycle, clicks off and then clicks back on. So 30 minute total. And we'll be good to go. And so make sure you tune back in tomorrow so you can see me do tomatoes. I'm going to do a lemon tree. I'm going to put it in the cloner. And I'm going to figure out something in the back that I can plant as well. Put in a cloner situation. So make sure you tune back in. Make sure you check everything out. And subscribe if you're new to the channel because you do not want to miss anything. And we are on our way to 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2021. So with your help, we'll get it there. So I love you in advance. Thank you very much. Tell a friend to tell a friend to another friend to do the same. And we'll go and grow together. Pun intended, okay? Happy aeroponics. Happy, happy cloning opportunities. See you tomorrow. Woohoo!